Hey guys, in this week's tip, we're going to continue to take a look at the various tools available within SMS Pro's analysis menu. This week, we're going to take a look at label items and label browser. To set things up, I'm in a basic item cost view. To get there, I simply hit the view menu, item cost, and based on my login and credentials, this is the view that I want to see. Okay, let's put some items in here so that we can work on these new tools. I'm going to select that I want to look at a subdepartment under my search field criteria. Then under the conditions, I'm going to double click and it's going to bring up a listing of my subdepartments. I'm going to go ahead and select barbecue sauce, hit OK. Now I want to add one more condition. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit this plus sign. And what I want to take a look at is a category that we created a while back that I've set up for just H.J. Hines specific sauces. I'm going to go in and I'm going to find that description. Oh, here it is, right there. I'm going to highlight it, click OK. And now you can see I'm searching for my subdepartments and barbecue sauce by the category of H.J. Hines. When I launch that, into the browser will come all those things that are in my barbecue subdepartment with an H.J. Hines category code. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try out these new tools. Now we're going to click Analysis, Label Items. A new window is going to pop up. I'm going to scoot it over to the right so we can kind of see things a little bit more clearly. Now the purpose of this tool is to quickly allow us to print a price label for any of the items within our browser. It will only print one item based on whichever one we've highlighted. So if we highlight this one or that one or th this one up here, that's the label that would be printed once we work on it. Let's go through a quick example. All right, so we want to go ahead and put a sale price on this item. You can see our current price right here is a buck ninety-nine, and we're making about twenty-six points of margin on that thing. But we got a special coming up, and let's say we want to make that a buck seventy-nine. We're going to go ahead and activate that by putting in specific dates. We'll start with today, and we'll run it through all the weekend and see what happens. We're going to go ahead and apply that change, and you'll see that our next price, just like you've seen in other videos, changes to a buck seventy-nine. Now, in order to let all our customers know we got a great sale price on this particular item, we've got to go print out a new shelf tag. And that's the purpose of our items labels tool that we've opened up over here. To use it is very, very simple. We're going to come over here and we're going to pick which price level we want to print out, the sale, of course, that we just created. Then we're going to select from the drop down list the label template that we want to use. Hopefully, yours are a little bit more descriptive than mine, but I know I want to use this one right here. Then all we have to do is click the launch button. The system will do its processing, then we'll hop over into the labels module. We'll click the print label and you'll see that our item that we selected is right here. So from this point, I'm simply going to select the print button right here. It's going to bring a new, up a new window for us. You can see I'm going to print to a PDF writer that I got on my system so I can show you what the label looks like. But there's a couple other things that we want to take a look at here. If you have multiple label printers, you can select which one you want from the basic printer settings drop down right here. If you want to order it by UPC or some other version, maybe shelf location, maybe category brand or something like that, you would select that here. You could also select a second one. So in this particular case, let's order it by UPC by shelf location or you'd probably do it you know something like this by shelf location then you might do something like shelf position that would make a heck of a lot more sense if you needed to skip any labels because it isn't changing you could tell it to do so right here now all we have to do is hit launch and the thing's gonna print so now I just want to show you that this is what's gonna happen when you print that label whatever your label template is and however it's designed that's what's gonna result from what we just did all right, we're back at our main item cost view within SMS Pro, and we're going to look at our next tool that's very, very similar to the one we just looked at, only this one is called Labels Browser. To get there, we hit the Analysis menu, then the Label Browser option. A similar window, just like before, opens up. I'll move it over here to the right, and we'll take a look at what it does. You'll see that this new tool has a very similar look and feel to the one that we just did for item label. The main difference, Item Browser, will print the price labels for every item that exists in the browser. Let's step through one. So let's go through a couple scenarios with this tool. We brought our items into our browser via our search criteria over here of subdepartment and item category. Now let's just say we want to print all the price labels. We want to print the retail price labels, so that's already selected. And now we just want to select our label template, which is the same one we did before. Just like we did a few minutes ago, we'll hit the launch button. You'll see the system will ask you this time to confirm that you want to do this for all the items in the browser. Yes, we want to. The system will process. Now if we go over into our label module, we hit the print label button, you'll see that we have 13 labels right here ready to print. I'm going to go ahead and print those out on my PDF just like we did before and we'll take a look at them. All right, so you can see that instead of just printing the single label for the item that we selected, we now printed the label for every item that existed in our browser. That's a pretty neat little tool and a handy way to print up a bunch of labels real quick when you're doing some searching by subdepartments or categories or what have you. All right, we're back at our item cost view with our item browser tool opened up over here to the far right. Let's go through some of the other options that are available to us within this menu. Check out this radio button right here. See what it says? Use template from the shelf table. Well, I wonder if we can actually use that. We probably can. You know what it's for? It's to automate this drop-down menu right here where we select our label template. Let's see if we can't figure this thing out. 
You know in SMS, each item has an entry into the shelf table. And what it does is it corresponds the item to the shelf ID, the shelf location, and the position of that shelf. So I went ahead and hit item, shelf, and I opened up that table right here. You know, the shelf table looks a lot like the other tables within that SMS item maintenance, so let's see if we can't figure this thing out. I bet if we hit the little plus sign, we get a new entry, and sure enough, it looks like we are. Shelf ID, look at that, we got a question mark. Let's double click it, see what happens. Well, we get a new window that pops up that shows the various shelf locations within our store. For this one, let's go ahead and select T1 and hit OK. Look at label template, same thing. It's got that little question mark. I bet if we double click there, yep, sure enough. There are all our label templates that we were looking at before under this drop down menu. Now let's just simply select this one, the one that we did before, that's the one we want. Click OK, and look at that. We've got our shelf ID and our label template there. But let's go one step further. I'm gonna hit this little squirrely cue thing right here, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna apply it to all the items in the browser at once. To do that, I simply type the word yes, and then I just hit apply changes right like that. The system does its processing and let's see if it worked. Well sure enough, as we scroll through the items in our browser, we see that the shelf ID and the label template have been applied to each and every one. The reason? Well, we hit the apply template to all within the browser located right here. Now an important safety tip when you use this little helpful tool, you got to make sure you want to apply all the changes to those items in the browser because you know once you do it, well, it's done. Now let's see if we can figure out what we did. We're going to go back over here to our item browser tool from the analysis drop down menu and we're going to go ahead and select this radio button right here. Use the template from the shelf table. When we do, you can see our drop down for the uh, label template is grayed out, so we can't select it. Now I wonder what the heck this is going to do. Well, let's find out. All we have to do is hit the launch button just like we did before. We're going to get that confirmation. Do you want to print the labels for everything within the browser? Oh yeah, sure we want to do that. The system processed. Now let's jump over into the label module and see what we got. We come over to the print label option. We can see that our seven labels that we just printed are there. And you know what? It used the template because that's what we selected in the shelf table. That's a pretty cool little tool in itself. Okay, I'm back in my main item cost view with my item browser tool opened up over here to the far right. Before we sign out this week, let's go through one more real world example. Now coming up, it's a holiday weekend and there's going to be people out and about and barbecuing all weekend. So I want to run a little special on some specific barbecue sauces that I got to try and get customers into the store to buy some other things. So I did our search just like we did before. I looked at my barbecue sub department and I wanted this particular category and these are the items that I got. How many do I got? Well, let's take a look. Hit the count button right here and you can see I got seven items in this particular browser window. So let's go ahead and set up our sale price. I've highlighted the first item in my browser here. I'm going to drop down to my price table and I'm going to go ahead and put in my sale price. And We're going to start it today on Monday and we're going to run it through the following Monday so we get all the traffic for the holiday weekend. Now normally speaking, what we would do is hit the apply all changes button right here. But you know what? We're much more efficient than that and we just learned something. Let's hit the little squirrely cue right here. We do that, a window pops up. Do we want to apply this change to everything in the browser? Well, heck yeah, that's what my intention is. We'll go ahead and hit the apply all changes. The system does the processing. Let's see if it worked. I go down to this item. Yep, buck 69. This item. Yep, buck 69. Back up to this one. Yep, buck 69. What a neat little tool. All right, everybody knows what the next step is. We just didn't put a sale price on all the items that we wanted to, and now we got to hang some shelf labels so the customers coming in the store know that we got a heck of a deal going on. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use our item browser tool that we've got open over here to the far right. Now we're super efficient these days, so we've set up our shelf label table, and we're going to go ahead and use that template so we don't have to use the drop down here. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to select the sale option because that's the pricing that we want on our new label, the sale price. Then from here, we'll click launch. The system's gonna confirm whether or not we wanna do it for all items in our browser. Oh, heck yeah, we do. We do it, it launches, it does its thing. We go over into the labels module, hit print labels, and you can see right there are our seven new price labels. Ah, there's one thing I forgot to show you. We're back at that item cost view again. You know, the one with the item browser window open up over here to the far right. I want to show you what happens when you have multiple label templates within the same items in the browser. Now, you remember before, we set this label template up for all the items. You know, if we scroll through it, we got the same label template down here. Well, what happens if we change it? So I'm going to select this item, and I'm going to put a new label on this particular item. Let's pick a goofy one, this one right here, just to show you the difference. I know it won't apply, but I just want to show you. Now we're going to hit the Apply All Changes button, and what happens is it only changes this item item in this instance. So if we scroll down here to this item, we got our old template. We scroll back up to that one we were working on, we got the new template. Now let's go ahead and hit the launch button right over here and see what the heck happens. Yeah, we want to print everything in the browser. That's the confirmation. The system does its thing. We're going to go over here to the label module, hit the print label option, and you can see, ah, looky there. We got the one item with the new label that we put on, then the items that we had before, six of them, with the old label. Just like that. The labels will print out, and all you have to do is hit the print button right over here. Well, that's it for this week's tip. 
Hopefully this review of a couple of the tools under the analysis menu will help you manage your pricing events in the very near future. Until next time, have a great day.